Welcome back everyone, my name is Chris, we've got a gear review for you today. You're going to be taking a look at the Drac Softshell Jacket from Arcteryx Leaf. That's a L-E-A-F standing for Law Enforcement and Armed Forces. It's their sort of um, military branded gear, you know, uh, Velcro on the sleeves, tactical colours, multi-cam and grey and curry, stuff like this. Uh, obviously it's Arcteryx, well-known um, Canadian based company, they start off in like mountaineering gear and stuff like that, very lightweight stuff, very very high quality and then they've moved over into the, the military side of things with their leaf line and this is uh, one of their many jackets they produce. Now the thing with the Drac, uh, as this model is, um, is that you want to be uh, careful about what your actual usage for it is going to be when you buy it. They they make a whole range of jackets that range from having essentially no insulation uh, for specific reasons and specific uses all the way up to the, the heavier uh, cold or weather jackets and this is more towards the end of the scale where um, it's for slightly cooler weather um, but it's deliberately uh, not particularly insulated it's got a good level of water resistance it's not waterproof um, and it will keep in a certain amount of heat uh, but mostly it will actually uh, let quite a lot of heat out. It's designed for, uh, certainly not for, for standing around sort of stuff, it's designed for, for active use. You get when you're going to be sweating, you're going to be heating up, running around, uh, and it will help with getting sweat away from the body uh, and that heat build up as well. This isn't a sort of standing around or, or probably not so much for hiking either if, if you're going at more of a slow pace certainly in cold conditions. This isn't the jacket for that. You've got to uh, bear these sort of design criteria in mind with, with the Arcteryx uh, leaf stuff. The actual material is quite thin. Um, there's, there's not a lot to it. It should be fairly abrasion resistant according to the manufacturers. I'll find out once I've used it some more, but it is thin. Um, you'll notice one, one big thing about the way it hangs here is that it doesn't tend to hang very flat and straight and there's a reason for that. Uh, a lot of, uh, obviously this stuff isn't cheap, far from it, uh, and a lot of the design and effort goes into the shaping of it and it's much more fitted to how a human body actually is rather than the cheaper jackets which will just hang because they're just a straight rectangle basically. Um, so th this is made up of quite a lot of separate panels, a lot of stitching and time goes into making each one of these. The fabric itself is really nice, it's a, it's a four way stretch so you've got a lot of articulation, a lot of movement when you're wearing it and obviously that's going to be a key feature uh, given what this is designed to be used for. So we'll start up from the neck area and we'll look at some of the construction features. The neck itself has much more insulation uh, aligning to it um, compared to the rest of the jacket. I think the idea behind that is if you're wearing like a thermal a base layer, like a shirt or a, maybe some sort of a puffy jacket, that'll probably, it'll go up to here like as your t-shirt does, but then it'll stop, so then you've got that insulation around the neck area. Uh, little garage at the top where the insulation comes out to just tuck away your primary zip. Main zip itself is a good chunky YKK. Uh, and then on the inside you've got this baffles or barrier here or waterproof material that's also insulated again and then just means that any wind or water that does get through this main zip is going to be stopped at that point. You can see the inside there, you have mesh pockets. The fabric is really comfortable, it's very smooth, it is extremely light, that is certainly something it has going for it. You've got your space here for your, your name, your ID number, service number, whatever you choose to put on there. All the seams are nice and flat lock stitched. Very nice high quality main zipper there. On each sleeve, 4 inch by 4 inch loop velcro for uh, your patches, IFF, name tapes, etc. Got upper arm pockets, these are actually quite generously sized. And then on the end of the sleeve, laser cut uh, synthetic fabric uh, tabs here, these should be these should last quite well and they won't catch on things uh, on certainly this outside surface. They're nice and smooth and they won't catch on hook velcro and they won't, they shouldn't catch on themselves, no they won't. 
you've got a good adjustment in the cuffs there, good range of adjustment I should say. The main pockets are a bit different to what you'd usually expect, but they're quite vertically aligned if that makes sense. They're very, um, you know, there's not a lot to them. Um, uh, this mesh stuff is, is quite strong, you can tell straight away, for a mesh fabric. Uh, you, they're not particularly deep in this dimension, going across that way, but then you've got a lot of height uh, to them so you can store objects in that sort of an orientation. And all these zips have these, uh, these long pulls on them. I, I would almost say that for me, I think they're perhaps a bit too long, but then I guess they're going for sort of when you've got maybe thick gloves on and they're all a cord knotted in the end, heat shrink around the cord itself, and certainly easy to grab in cold climates when your hands, when you sort of start losing that dexterity, especially a combination of a cold and a heavy pack will start cutting off blood flow to your arms. That definitely affects dexterity, and like I say, combined with cold. I can certainly see how those would come in useful. Uh, little logo here, the old dead bird embroidered on, nice and subdued, nice and subtle, quite like that. On the waist, you've got a drawstring. That's your toggle for it there. And one nice design feature is that the when you tighten that drawstring, instead of just hanging down like out the bottom of your jacket down here somewhere, the excess toggle goes into the pocket. So that's tucked away nice and neatly, and that's all really neatly rooted and arranged. You can see there, it's really cleverly done, all channeled and directed. Uh, on the back, not a lot to see on the back, but you can see again how all these separate panels that make up the jacket to give it that good fit, the athletic fit and the articulation. You've got a small Velcro uh, panel about half an inch by inch and a half. Get some IR glint tape something along of that nature on there if you so wish. Um, as, other than that, pretty plain. Obviously, price-wise, retail price, they're not cheap in the UK, around 180 for these. Um, they're available in the, this crocodile, which is a uh, darker coyote khaki or the wolf grey, which is the grey similar to my t-shirt here. Um, if you are a large or an extra large jackets like this, Arcteryx sleeve stuff come up on eBay all the time, just constantly. Uh, I, this is a small and I had to search for a long time to get it, but if you're in one of those larger sizes you can get them for a lot cheaper on eBay, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for those if you are interested in one because you can save yourself a lot of money compared to the, the UK retail prices. One, th uh, one thing I didn't mention was the pit zips, now this, this is actually massive, this opens all the way from up about here on this side and it can be fully opened all the way like so you know great big opening that would go to about here on your arm so all of that space can be opened up if you wanted to so a lot of ventilation there um, I think they should have perhaps just had the one zip instead of the two because then you've got these long pulls just kind of hanging around but it's certainly not the end of the world you can tuck them away you could tuck them inside if you wanted to uh, but really that's about it guys there isn't a massive amount of features what you're really paying for here is the quality of the tailoring the materials how lightweight it is uh, that sort of side of things it isn't massively feature rich but it isn't particularly intended to it's just uh, you know it'll last a long time it'll do a good job of keeping you cool when you're exerting yourself uh, and retaining that bit of warmth uh, and windproof and water resistant uh, features when you need them. So like I say it's really about picking which out of their line is going to fit your needs. So make sure to check the product descriptions, the, 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 the nomenclature on their product line is, can be kind of confusing so make sure you read up if you're looking at purchasing one of these and make sure you, you get that right item that's going to suit what you're actually doing. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it to be honest guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers and all the thumbs up and all that good stuff helps a lot. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that good shit's in the description box below. And I'll see you next time guys. Thanks very much.